There are some important headlines occurring nationally and in Michigan that put them at the top of the list for this week's video. One, effective May 1st, is from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and is about their restructuring mortgage fees, which will impact some buyers positively and others negatively. NAR has openly opposed these changes since the beginning of the year when they were first proposed because they are inequitable in their application. There may be more on this to come as NAR continues to oppose the changes, so stay tuned. Nonetheless, until such time as the Federal Housing Finance Administration changes its position, they will be in effect starting next week. Please check with the lenders with whom you do business to learn how this may impact your current and future clients. And while that one sounds serious in Michigan, a bill has been introduced and hearings already held that would redefine independent contractor status. Be assured Michigan Realtors is keeping their eyes glued to this issue, but this does seem to have some support for carving out an exception for real estate licensees. There is already talk of a state call to action for realtors on this issue, so stay tuned. If you're curious about my backdrop, it's to let you know dues are going up, which I suspect does not surprise many of you. They have not risen in more than a decade. Seems to be a sign of the times. The Michigan Realtors increase is an additional $36 a year for state dues starting in 2024. Then the NAR increase for 2024 is $6 and is going to be voted on in three weeks when Realtors travel to Washington, D.C. Along with the increase, directors are being asked to approve annual adjustments based on inflation or 4%, whichever is less. If this passes, dues will change every year. All total, the change is less than 20 cents a day, which isn't bad considering all the tools you have at your disposal. Anyone who wants to know more about this is welcome to call me. Market conditions. The interest rates are still around 6%, with adjustables about 1% lower. If they continue to stay this reasonably stable, the more, quote, normal things will become, which is generally good for the market. The absorption rate is more than 37%, which continues to support a seller's market. Inventory is actually up about 5% from a year ago, although the number of sales has declined. Percent of asking is at about 100% for the four counties, and days on market is under 40. For those working with buyers and sellers in this market, the market conditions may be signaling a change. While in the past, because there was sufficient new inventory coming into the market monthly, giving buyers an abundance of new choices, the number of new listings monthly is slowing, meaning some homes that buyers may have seen will need a second look. For sellers with less than four out of 10 homes selling, this may mean they need to make the difficult choice of replacing the green shag carpet and flock wallpaper or reducing the price. This week is Broker Summit and the MR Fair Housing event at the Book Cadillac in Detroit. Many of us will be there and we will report back for those who are not. Hope to see you there. As for other events starting next week, Tuesday the 2nd is the fun and ever popular 19 Things They Didn't Teach in Pre-License. Happy Hour is May 4th at Irish Coffee on Mac and Gross Point Farms. Friday is Cinco de Mayo. Monday the 8th is Successfully Selling Hunt Homes. And the 12th is Roundtable Luncheon at the Board Office. That week of the 7th through the 11th is also when NAR holds its mid-year meetings, which means some of us will be traveling but still available. And while that is all that is happening in the next three weeks, I'm going to stop there to keep this from becoming too long. For those looking for info on the stuff I've mentioned, go to gpbr.com. If not, until next week, be productive, successful, and profitable, and as always, stay safe.